Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So I am in here going through my drawers and underneath my bathroom sink because I'm getting rid of all of my empties because it's just taking up too much space and I try to straighten up so tomorrow morning when I wake up I don't have to see all this mess because right now the counter is a mess and I just can't take it anymore. All right, so my Elf Skin Holy Hydration Face Cream is all gone so I can get rid of this. I will be repurchasing this though because I really like it. It's a great everyday affordable face cream. I do want to get another one and I'm mad because this was on sale a week or so ago and I didn't pick it up. So I'm gonna get another one of these. So I'm gonna toss that. I also used up my Saltaire and the Santal Bloom. This is all gone. I will be repurchasing this. However, I did pick this one up. I haven't used it yet. Uh, the Lush Green Skin Balancing Serum Body Wash. It has like a like a fresh earthy scent but it smells really good so I'm gonna give this a try okay um also need to get rid of this body oil I am going to repurchase this however I'm gonna wait until I use the ones that I have but yeah this one is all gone I also went through this one uh I went through two of these actually I don't know where the other one is the oil finished this one so I need to throw that out let me see what's in this this needs to be cleaned out it's just a mess it's just stuff piled in there I finished the benefit 24 hour brow setter so I need to toss that I've been using the refi brow gel and I like it it's okay and I finished the uh, Mayel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair uh, Oil. And it's like a teeny tiny bit left in here. I'm going to try to get that out. <laughs> but I really, really like this, y'all. I really like it. And when my mom was in town, when we were in Nordstrom Rack, they had this in Nordstrom Rack for like $7. And at the time, I didn't buy it because I didn't need any but i'm going to stop in there not this weekend because i don't i don't go on michigan avenue or anywhere near michigan avenue on a weekend if i can help it so i won't be going this weekend but um i'll go next week because I feel like that's a really good deal. I might get two just to have. So that's all gone. And just use that last little bit of my scalp because we're not wasting nothing. Waste not, want not, right? And then my beloved Ambery Vitiver by Dossier. It literally has like a corner in here, it has like nothing left. <laughs> But I love this so much. This is the dupe for Byredo's Bow de Freak. And I use this stuff to death. So that's an empty. Also, this Summer Friday tent. I can go ahead and toss this because I got a new one. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh... Oh, and the Summer Friday Shade Drops SPF 30 Empty. I can get rid of that. I'm still using the K-Scan one. And I've also been using the Glow Screen. And I really, really like the Glow Screen. I haven't used that in probably over a year. So, I'm back using that. I got like a little bit left of this NARS clear gloss so I'm gonna just hold on to that I can get rid of some of these concealers because this one is empty yeah that's dry 
this one is empty. It's still a little bit in there. These are two different colors. So this is medium dark two caramel. And this is the newest one I got. Medium deep 1.5. So this is the new one. So I'm going to keep those. Everything else is good. This Gucci mascara is gone too. So I'm going to toss that. It was nice. I won't repurchase it though. It was just okay. Uh, but this is definitely my holy grail mascara. Um, I've been enjoying the Tower 28 though. I like it. I like the bristles on it. Um, the wand. I don't know if you guys can see, but the wand kind of like, oh, now I'm going to get it everywhere. It kind of like splits. And at first I was like, oh, is my brush broken? But it's made like that. So. And this is the mascara that I've been wearing on like the everyday basis. So yeah, I like it. It. For that, so I can go ahead and add my new stuff in here. So, moving on to the newest fragrances that I got in from Dossier. Thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring this portion of this video. I got three new fragrances in, and let me share them with you guys. Um, I got Ambery Cherry, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And I know a lot of people love this. And I was not originally a fan of this when I smelled the Tom Ford version, but I actually like this now. It smells really good. So, all right, so the notes for the Ambery Cherry are cherry, almond, cinnamon for the top notes, middle notes, cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum, base notes, Peru, balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. I also got fruity almond. This is inspired by Carolina Herrera, good girl. And for the fruity almond, the top notes are almond, peach, middle notes, orris, orange blossom, tuberose, base notes, tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. Hmm. So let's see how you smell fruity almond. That smells really good. I've never smelled the Carolina Herrera. But this, oh, it smells so good. That's a good spring scent. Really good spring scent. And then the last one I got is Ambery Vanilla. And I actually shared this one in my last vlog. Uh, I used this as a room spray. <laughs> and these fragrances are actually really good, not only just as a body fragrance, but they're also really good for like spraying your linens. I sprayed this on our bed and all night I kept smelling it and it smelled so good. And I was like, why don't I do this more often? Like I wear perfume to bed at night, um, nothing too heavy but i very rarely spray our linens and i'm telling y'all you could smell it all through the night even until the morning so i highly recommend trying that like i know we all buy these like room sprays and stuff and we never use them at least i'm guilty of it like i'll use them a few times and then i just fall off but this this is good so this is inspired by ysl's black opium Top notes are mandarin, pear, pink pepper, and licorice. Middle notes, jasmine, orange blossom. Base notes, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. It smells so good. 
I actually think I'm just gonna keep this on my bed side and just like I'm gonna still use it as a body spray but this is a good one like a good room body spray and again with dossier there are no harsh chemicals no toxins anything like that so if you have small kids or if you have someone in your family that is like sensitive to certain scents or anything like that you very rarely have to worry about that with dossier because these are clean fragrances they use all clean ingredients so yeah that's something to note as well so got the ambery vanilla candle as well show that to you guys in the vlog too i'll put a picture up here that candle smells so good it's a two-wick candle i've gotten several candles from dossier and this one is probably my favorite i think i've tried them all so far and this one is my favorite it smells so good so i see why they made this fragrance into a candle because not all of their candles are the same as like the fragrances it's just a select few but i see why they made the ambery vanilla a candle because that is a really really good candle and the throw on that is amazing like you can smell it all throughout our place and the candle was in the bedroom and i had it burning for several hours yeah don't forget to check out dossier's candles too so yeah guys those are my newest fragrances from dossier do have a discount code for you guys which i always mention it's always linked below if you guys ever want to head over to their site and check it out i do always have a code in my description box whether i mention the fragrance on my channel or not that link is always below um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this mess cleaned up and that'll be it i'm just gonna chill out with the fam for the rest of the night and i'll catch you guys tomorrow Right, guys so we are in the car now just Seth and I we're headed to his school because next week is teacher appreciation week and we're going to decorate his teachers classroom door so we are meeting two other classroom moms there so that we can get that done but before we do that I need to order coffee do you want something something Starbucks so yeah we're gonna order some Starbucks real quick and then we're gonna head to his school so that's what's on the agenda right now it is a rainy jewelry day we're gonna make the best of it oh. and you said a croissant so yeah okay all right y'all so we're gonna go and I'll check in in a little bit
like misty rain y'all y'all know what I mean when it's like psh, like I literally just got misted in the face no thank you okay I got grande ice a brown sugar shaken espresso because I need the extra boost for today oh. Yeah, and my battery is about to die, so I need to change that. Yeah. Yeah, extra battery. All right. All right, y'all. We have made it back home, finally. Feel like we've been gone literally all day, but we haven't. I'm so happy to be back home and back in my robe <laughs> and cozy because it is so ugly outside today. Anywho, I am going to attempt to make a recipe. I was on the Borson Cheese Instagram page and they have two recipes that I wanna try. The first one is one that I'm gonna try for lunch for me because I know the kids aren't gonna eat it. It's um, a pepper recipe. I don't have bell peppers. I have many sweet peppers. So I'm gonna improvise a little bit on that one one oh they also have a jalapeno one too like a stuffed jalapeno that looks good so yeah that's what we're getting ready to do and um hopefully it tastes good all right